Hi, I'm Tim Morris with Cincinnati State. Today let's talk about the general test figure 18. They've showed us a landing gear warning circuit or a landing gear indication circuit on figure 18. And um, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, one thing that's a real source of confusion is these lights. If we look at this light, uh, they're both the same. We have a triangle with a wire going to ground coming off that. That is a push to test circuit. That is just for testing uh, in the cockpit. It's not part of the actual operation. If I want to know if the bulbs burned out, I push in on it and I get the power to ground. We will ignore wire 13 and also on the green bulb wire 12. We'll ignore those push to test circuits for this question. The question is when the landing gears are up and the throttles are retarded, the warning horn will not sound if an open occurs in which wire? Our choices are 4, 2, and 9. So let's look at the warning horn. The warning horn is supplied 28 volts DC all the time, straight down from the bus bar through wire 7. The other side of the horn is seeking a ground. That's what will make it sound. So they're saying, well, what would make it sound, but but won't if it's broke. So the bottom pin is seeking a ground. Let's go down through here. And the question says that the throttle throttles are retarded, which closes this switch. So now we come through either one of these switches. It's a twin engine airplane, apparently. Either one of these switches takes us to wires four and five. They said with the gear up, so our gear, left gear switch and our right gear switch are actually going to be in the up position, which puts them like this. So if we go down wire four, um, it goes to the left gear switch. So if that wire broke, yes, my landing gear horn would not work. Uh, if we, your other choice is two and nine. Well, nine is way over here. It's not even part of that circuit. We can't get there. Uh, from here um, and the other one is wire number two and wire number two is also incorrect because that's not the path that the thing is taking. So the answer to your question is four. If, if four is open this horn would not sound. Let's look at another question. This is what ASA calls figure or er, question number 8068 on the same figure. It says the control valve switch must be placed in the neutral position when the landing gears are down to. So they're asking us why do we put this control valve switch? It's placed in the neutral position when the landing gears are down to. The answers are permit test circuit to operate. B is to prevent warning horn from sounding when throttles are closed, or C to move the ground from the green light. If we start down here knowing that that the warning horn's got to seek a ground, this is the only ground in the system that it can seek is down here off wire 14. So if we trace the warning horn down through the throttle switch as we come into 5, with the gears down, that's the way it's shown, we have to go through 5 through 10 and the only way we can get to the ground is if we close the control valve switch. So by opening the control valve switch we keep the horn from sounding when the gears are down and there's weight on the gear switches. Answer A is wrong. Uh, to permit the test circuit to operate, the test circuit is on the bulbs. The reason why C is wrong, removing the ground from the green light, is when placed in the neutral position, the green light has a ground. So that's why that is wrong.